guys, welcome to the channel. Today is an exciting day. We're gonna test a DDR intake manifold. Oh yeah, baby. We are on our way to the lake and I have the DDR intake and I have a stock intake with me. Not just any, I mean, not just any stock intake. I have the, the filter from inside the intake manifold removed for better flow. And we have the intake brace on. So, and it's just ready to go. So we're gonna compare the stock intake to the DDR intake. And I see what happened. Wait a minute. What are you doing here? Are you spying on me? How you doing? What's up, man? Tuning day. Tuning day? Are you tuning yours too? Um, or maybe. Playing with it? Maybe. Right. Right. <laughs> Look who we got here, Mr. <laughs> JP. Huh. <laughs> it's hot, but I'm not even sweating. Look at this one. You Yo, have? where's the towel? You have? This is your you job. <laughs> This is your job, literally your job, to wipe my face. We need to find him a towel. <laughs> hey, hey, what are you doing? Leave it there, leave it there. I'm sweating. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Why don't you show him the good part? Oh, yeah, this thing is a beauty. It's open. Look at this. Woohoo! This is nice. Got the fizzle in the cooler. Holy crap, you did a good job on this, man. It's pretty. You're pretty. Maltake. Nice. <laughs> All right, we just got to the to the ramp. I got my wifey. <laughs> JP spying. Spying. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go test this baby and see what we got all right so i went for a ride warm it up and now mr fizz is going for a ride buckle up for safety <laughs> buckle up for safety <laughs> let's see how he does it's a little wild it's a little wild ride seems like it, when they go that fast which i'm going to show you guys how fast it's going it gets a little funny up top, so we'll see. We gotta figure it out. I am running the stock integrate, and I think that's the problem when you go really, really fast with these things. They don't like it. So we have to put an integrate on. I think someone is scared. You only step on it for like, 300 feet. Can you handle that, my boy? What the hell? All right, so the magically the IBR is working now. Well, we'll see. You need a little bit more weight in the front, I guess. Yes, <laughs> yes. We're gonna let JP, we're having issues with the IBR, and I guess it's stuck, like, I don't even know where it's stuck, where, where it wants to, so. JP, since uh, he got a little more traction than us. He got a little bit more traction. A little more junk in the trunk. <laughs> a little more junk in the trunk. <laughs> I still need the key. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The key, the key, the key. The key, the key, yeah. That's my own key. You gotta turn this on inside. Yeah. I don't know. Did I even turn it on? Yeah. Yes. Is the fuel low or just... No. Yeah. No. no. I mean, the buzzer is real, right? No. Oh, you don't have more than...
what JP can do. It's not too bad with him. I guess he needs to wait. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, he was bouncing a little bit. Definitely, definitely needs an integrate at that speed. 95. 95? But you see how fine he gets? Yeah, he, he, he needs an integrate. He needs an integrate. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it gets real weird. So 95 miles, huh? Yeah, on the dancer. Nice. You like it? I like this. <laughs> <laughs> We got 95 miles, I gotta put the GoPro and show you guys and we go from there. Oh yeah, 95 on the dash. That's pretty cool. Yeah, she's ripping. Yeah. She was nice. <laughs> I think once you get the, the hole figured out, yeah. you'll be like probably like 98. Yeah, I think at that speed, we need an integrate. Yeah. It's yeah. what I've seen. I think the, the intake rate that they have is very, very aggressive. Okay. So I think if we make it not as aggressive, yeah. it might be a little better. Right. We'll figure it out. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. All right, so now we got the, our test. It went 95. It's a little slow off the line, but DDR says it's a little slow off the line, but it will pick up. As soon as it picked up, it's faster than the factory intake. So let's find out, right? Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's see what happens. And let's see what So here we go guys, 96 mile per hour, they hold it for a long time. So 96 mile per hour on the dash. Woo -woo. Stage four is kicking butt boy. 96 baby. So yep, 96. Now we're gonna try the other intake, the stack intake, and let's see what the difference is. All right guys, so took the intake manifold off. Um, running with the filter here's the DDR intake and take off the throw body stock throw body nothing fancy see the pain and everything there um, this is the hose that we cut so now let's put the stock intake back on all right guys so intake is on I'm waiting on a um, uh, the backing hose because mine was is too short. It won't go all the way over there. What this one is is on the factory intake. It's all the way over here, and then I totally forgot that I cut this. But lucky for us, Mr. Fizz is here. <laughs> it's so, yeah, it's himself. So S same day shipping. Yes, yeah, same day shipping. We got one of his workers bringing the hose and the the backing hose. So that's right there the man always supporting uh the racing this is awesome because he he really supports all the racing and i call him up and say hey i'm gonna be doing this test and boom he came over so it's really cool to have him here and having brian and kuko and jp and it's been a good day we had a lot of fun so waiting on the hose and let's see what happened Turn. We'll see what happens. Kuku, you didn't do nothing today, huh? Yeah? Nah, take the day off. <laughs> Just chilling. Kuku is always running around. Running around all these guys today. He say, I'm not doing nothing. I'm enjoying the company. Everybody's here. Yeah. And just have a good time. Yeah, good time. Oh, yeah. We had a good day. Yeah. I need 300 RPMs. 9300 rpms no. 94 mile per hour okay. on stock manifold yes wait 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 hold on let me be in on this what was it 96. before it was, it was 90, almost 9400 rpms it was it was yeah, no it was 9500 it was almost 9400 no, no, today. oh okay today it was almost 9400 no, okay. 9450 9600 
Okay. Who else got what? 9650. Man, what the hell? Huh? Who else got? That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Only three mechanics. 9200. You're probably the closest. 9150. Oh. Holy crap! So the Intec works. Damn. Oh, anyway. All right. The Intec works. It is a it's a little laggy out of the hole, but man, it picks up like crazy. 9100 to 9450. That's a lot of RPMs. He did 300 RPMs. Yeah, but, he yeah, but it, he sound, it made it sound like this one did better. Oh, I know. He was, he was playing with us. All that crap he was talking. <laughs> His manifold works better. You didn't believe it. You like? I didn't. No, I'll be the first one to say. It. Yeah, I mean it's as back to back as you can get. I mean, we did it in one, one day. day. Yeah, one day within a couple hours apart. Yeah, you can't get no more back to back. And it's cooler right now too, so it should have. It should have bricked up more. Yeah, up more. yeah because when we did the, the yeah, DDR, it depends. It depends on what the density altitude is right now. It's 400 lower right now. It's 400 lower. And yeah, what yeah. was it before? Oh, it was 2250. Now it's 1830. Yeah, so there you go. Hey, so you got you got better air. 300 higher, 350. We have better air with <laughs> this manifold, with a factory manifold, yeah, than right. we did with the DDR. Yeah, well. It works. It works. We're gonna find Stop out. Stop looking at it. <laughs> Did you I'm have fun? At the camera. Sure. Did you have fun? Yep. Okay. You 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 really enjoy Cedars. tuning Cedars, huh? Yeah, they're nice. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's nice about tuning a Cedar? I could I could ride the ski and rip it with my laptop open. <laughs> well, okay. Yeah. 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 Laptop open, everything. Watch the whole shit. You don't even need a data log. No. Nope. I just do it right on the fly. Yeah. You're doing that with no Yamaha. <laughs> you gotta close that shit, grip it, and rip it. Well, now it's my turn to go test it and fizzle. Yeah. Mr. Fizz is gonna go test it. Everybody's gonna go test it. Okay. JP's gonna go test it. Or no, we're, we're in Cougar Even this back. guy wants to test it. Yeah, I'm riding it. Oh yeah. I'm it. All right. The fairground ride. Get it on. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a school bus too. Yeah, it's a uh, school like, bus. Too. Everybody on the park cart. <laughs> we should all get it on. Get on together. And just go <laughs> Drop us off in cl class. <laughs> Man, there's gonna be a lot of cutting in this video. <laughs> <laughs> which he should have gone 96. So it's three miles slower than the DDR uh, intake. That's crazy. I think there's better air now than it was when we did the test with the DDR intake. So. This one definitely, this one did. Yes. Not as snappy. Yeah. Up on top. Yeah. <clears throat> 
The big question, can Fiso take it out of the hole without jumping out of the water? Yeah, it definitely saw us. All right, what was the difference between we have the dragon? So of with course, the, we're not gonna say the number. <laughs> yeah, with the DDR manifold, it was 0.8 seconds faster from idle to 85 miles an hour. Boom! I told you it will catch up. So it's definitely it's a little slower taking off, but yep. once it goes, it yeah. goes. Yep. Yeah. And so it more than makes up for it. Yes. So I, I man, yeah, the manifold works. Yeah. Yeah. So there, there it is. So over here, we're going from an idle. On close coast racing, they hold the jet ski and you can rip it up to like 3,000 RPM. There's no lag and it just goes. So the manifold does work. guys so conclusion the manifold the ddr manifold is definitely faster definitely faster um it's a little laggy out of the hole just a tiny bit and by the time you hit like 30 to 40 miles per hour you already are faster than the stacking thing so 300 rpms more roughly but definitely three miles per hour in my jet ski that when 96 mile per hour with the DDR intake and now with a stack intake only when 93. So to my book, the intake works. That will be the intake that I will be using from now on. And if you guys want to purchase this intake, you can get it through me to Carlos Performance and it will be available. So until next time, I'll see you guys and I'll see you guys on the next episode.